need advice, talk to Brynjolf. He's got better things to do. Stay out of trouble, or there's gonna be trouble. Look, I already said Shadra doesn't owe me a thing, so get off my back. Here for a room or something to drink? Show me some coin first. I've already told that buffoon that I'm not paying you people a single coin. Look around you. I'm barely keeping this rat hole together. The war seemed to that. Good, and take this little message back to your bosses. I'm not paying any of you a single septum, ever. Now get out of my inn. I said get out. I'm not paying a single coin. I said get out. I'm not paying a single coin. Look, I already said shut. I'm right behind you. Look, I already said Shadra doesn't owe me a thing, so get off. I said get out. I'm not paying a single coin. What do you want? With the rumors going around about how poorly your guild's been doing, she's become much too bold. I'm not that foolish. The last thing I want is a war with your people. Look, I'm only telling you this because I care for her. Don't mistake this as acceptance for what you do. Kirava has some family at a farm just inside of Morrowind. If you mention you know about it, she might just listen to you. Just please don't harm anyone. I couldn't bear the thought. If you'll excuse me, I have other things to attend to. I'm not paying you or Brynjolf a single coin. Now get out of my tavern. No, and I never will. Now get out of my inn. How could you possibly know about... Please, my family means too much to me. Don't hurt them. Very well. Here, take this back to Brynjolf and tell him he'll have no more trouble from me. Look, I already said Shadra doesn't owe me a thing, so get off my back. Now what did you... Sure thing, it's yours for a day. If it's true that the dragons have returned, what will it mean for all of us? Is this how it all ends? If Maven Blackbriar keeps raising prices on meat, I'll have to resort to watering it down just to make ends meet. I can't stand this city. It's impossible to make a decent.
Working at the Riften Fishery is tough. I'm beginning to think leaving Mornhold was a mistake. So, can I interest you in anything today? Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. one of you people. So Brynjolf doesn't even bother to show up himself anymore, eh? What's this message? You're gouging me for what little coin I make, and you can't even protect yourselves? Ridiculous. Don't fool yourself. It's only a matter of time before you people are run out of Riften. Likewise. Now I have a lot to do, so I'm afraid you'll just have to leave. Boosh! What was that? I can't believe you're doing this. Stop! Oh my word. Stop! That's priceless! Just pay them, Bercy. No! That urn was priceless. All right, I get it. I'll pay on time from now on. Just don't smash anything else. Here, take your gold. And leave me in peace. I've got your back. Working at the Rift in Fishery is tough, but it puts some coin in my pocket. Come to see Balaman. Take a look. Remember, nothing but genuine fire salts will do. The forge knows the difference. Beautiful baubles and gleaming gemstones over here. Still here. I am at your command. Follow. What brings you to Balaman today? 
Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Remember, nothing but genuine fire salts will do. The Forge knows the difference. Nothing like the smell of a white hot blade, eh? Buying and selling. Looking for some. Take a look. Remember, nothing but genuine fire salts will do. The full the difference. Need something? Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Remember, nothing but genuine fire salts will do. The Forge knows that. Protect yourself, right? Buy armor from the Beautiful baubles and gleaming gems <coughs> over here. Looking to stay alive? Come to see back. The finest weapons and armor. Remember, nothing but genuine fire salts will do. The forge. No difference. Working at the Rift and Fisheries. I'm right pump. behind you. Thought it put some coin in my pocket. I am sworn to carry your burdens. It's you. Please, don't hurt me. Of course not. You expect me to take care of it by myself? My niece Vanna helps me with the chores. She'd be more help if she kept her head out of the clouds. She's been with me ever since her parents were killed by bandits and she was dropped in my lap. This heap of matchsticks is what everyone calls Hailga's bunkhouse. Can you stay here? No. The bunkhouse is for the working man, not some sort of luxury inn for tourists. There's a college in Winterhold that teaches magic. It's very secretive, though, and you know how people hate secrets. The Jarl's court wizard was taught there. That one's full of secrets. I know who you are. You've been terrorizing the entire city. Please, there's no need for that here. Message understood. Here, I even have the payment. I'd appreciate it if you'd keep your hands to yourself. Work? I suppose you can call it that. I call it slavery. I work my fingers to the bone keeping this disgusting place clean. Ever since my parents died and Helga took me in, it's been a nightmare. How was I to know she was such a wretched woman? So now I'm stuck living here, while those pigs she calls customers grope me and say the most awful things. It's not just the work, it's everything about her. She's disgusting. I think she takes her worship of Debella a bit too seriously. Do you know she slept with three different men in the last month alone? 
What kind of woman would do such a thing? Just for once, I'd like to see her squirm, to rub her nose in it. Actually, there is, but I don't think I could get away with doing it. She'd kill me if she found out. You see, I happen to know, after she makes love, she gives her partner a token of her affection, called a Mark of Debella. If you confront her with three of the Marks, she'd be so embarrassed. Well, I don't know what she'd do. Oh, this is going to be great! You need to get the Marks of Debella from Boli, Hofgrier, and Indarin. Not sure how you're going to do that, but try your best. Then just confront Helga with them, and the rest works itself out. Try and get those marks without violence, please. I don't want to be responsible for their death. Any luck getting the marks from those men? Fancy yourself an alchemist, huh? Never could get the hang of that. I'm the brewmaster around here. What did you... I'm quite busy. Need something, or can I get back to work? Maven Blackfriar wants me to keep the mead flowing, and that's what I aim to do, despite all these lazy good-for-nothings that work for us. Ever since I took over as a foreman, the production of our mead has never been more profitable. And if the meadery is profitable, I'll get rich. Get the picture? Lady Maven could buy or sell anyone in Skyrim. I wouldn't be surprised if she's the one pulling the strings around this city. She's always welcome in Miss Vale Keep, and between you and me, I'm pretty sure she even has some pretty influential friends within the Empire. I'd also warn you not to cross her. She employs quite a few troubleshooters to take care of messy problems. You're crazy. How dare you make such an accusation? You aren't making any sense. Hand what over? If word gets around that I betted her, they'll lose all respect for me at the meadery. Take the mark if you want it. It's not worth all this hassle anyway. Good. Now maybe I can get back to work. Welcome. Allow me to recommend the Blackbriar Mead, the purest brew in Australia. Skyrim. Yeah, what do you want? Need something. You could say the Rathway is the city under the city. Dark, dangerous, and no place for decent folk. them. You must take them away, return them to a Monchenzel. You must take the lexicon from me. Please, take it now. You must bring it to a Monchenzel. In the West, return it to them. It must go back.
You're not supposed to be here. You're not supposed to be in here. I'm not going to warn you again. Get out, or I'll call the guards. Oh. Take my advice. Don't listen to that talk of a face sculptor down in the ragged flagon. Face butcher is more like it from what I've heard. Can't a woman get a moment to herself? Leave! I'm, I'm warning, warning you. you. Back, Back off! off. By order of the Jarl, stop right there. Guard might get nervous. A man approaches with his weapon drawn. If you're looking to settle in Riften, there's a... What in the name of Oblivion do you want? Of course. Nothing gets done without my approval in this city. I have the Jarl's ear, and the guards in my pocket. Anyone makes trouble for me, and I pay a visit to the Thieves' Guild. Make me angry, and I contact the Dark Brotherhood. You do well to remember that the next time you make such a stupid observation. Looking I believe we're done. Aha, uh -huh. a fellow Nord. I trust you're bringing the fight to the Empire. Got horses that need shoeing, so make it quick. Ah, I'm not afraid of anything out here. Walls are just a weakling's hiding spot. Not me. I'm no weakling. In fact, I bet I got the strongest arms at all of Skyrim. Oh, sounds like I've got a challenger. Tell you what, how about a friendly wager just between us? I bet you my entire purse of septums I can beat you in a fist fight. You match the bet, and we fight until one of us gives in. All right, remember, this is a clean fight. No weapons, no tricks. And none of those fancy magic spells either. Here we go. Come on, let's see what your mate never should have come here. <laughs> talked her into it? I don't know what to say. I didn't think anyone in Riften even cared what happened to me. Look, I was saving this, but I wanted you to have it. I thought I might need it if Sapphire came for me, but I don't need it anymore. You just gonna stand there and take it? I don't believe it. I guess you were right. Not at all. It's good to be put in your place once in a while. I guess I shouldn't boast so much. It gets expensive. You've been a good friend to me. That means something. Been stuck with the name for years. I've been riding horses since I was a lad. Nothing I liked more. But as I got bigger, so did my mounts. And one day, I was drunker than I've ever been and mounted a poor colt. Broke his back in two. Haven't ridden since. 
Huh? What are you talking about? I don't even know what that is. Look, you must have me confused with someone else. I don't want a bad reputation in Riften, but Helga's out of control. She wanted to try it in the stables, so I said yes. If you want the mark that badly, then go ahead and take it. Mm-hmm. Please help me. I'm going to lose my job at the Ripton Fishery. I really need your help. I don't want to lose my job at the fishery. What am I going to do? My job at the Ripton Fishery is in danger. The owner, Bolly, said that if I show up for work in this condition one more time, then I'm out. I don't mean to do this to myself, but I can't help it. I tried some skooma a year ago, and ever since then, I can't stop. If you could give me a healing potion, I could cleanse this poison from my body and get back to my life. Your kindness will never be forgotten. Here, take this. It's all I can offer you for what you've given me. It is our most favorite company. I'm feeling much better now, thanks to you. Bolly is a good man. He pays us well and watches out for us. I used to work at the Black Briar Meadery, but Indarin and I never saw eye to eye. That elf has no patience at all. It's probably for the best anyway. I'm far better at fishing than working in a meadery. I'm not sure what it's made from. But I can tell you that once you've had a taste, you'll never crave anything else. The Dunmer came up with the stuff a long time ago. Very illegal and very hard to come by. I got mine off a merchant ship in solitude. Worst mistake I ever made. Look, I don't think I should say. I mean, they could kill me. Okay, okay, I'll tell you. I get my skooma from Sarthas Idrin. He has some sort of a setup over the Riften warehouse. You can't get inside, though. They've kept that place locked up tight since the war began. I overheard Boli say that only the Jarl carries the key to the warehouse. When I meet Sarthas there, he's usually waiting for me outside with his bodyguard. If it wasn't for Skuma, I'd already be on my way out of this horrible city. All my gold. Completely gone. Now I have to start over. I'll never use Skuma again. Although I suppose a little mead now and then would be harmless. You've been kind. I thank you. What do you need? Well met, friend. How can I help you? Orcish armor, huh? I'd me a set of that once. Ugly and strong, like those that forged it. To wonder, what does the dragonborn do once he's summoned by the Greybeards? 
Can the thorn be taught? Like any skill. Hey, you're not supposed to be down here. Official business only. What are you doing down here? Oh, my mistake then. Sorry, you can go on ahead. Have you come to gawk at me, or is this a social call? Look, we all have our flaws. Mine is that women can't get enough of me. So I had this little affair going on while I was betrothed to a beautiful girl named Stiddy. Well, she finds out and she tells her brother Wolfer that her brother attacks me with a knife. I mean, I had to defend myself. Exactly. Now I have to stare at these bars for eight months. Can you believe it? I was about to let that wench marry into the richest family in Ripton, and this is how she repays me. I'd do anything to have that whore's head on a platter. All I need to know is where she is. Ah, that's the spirit. Find her, and I promise you'll be well compensated. Ah, and let me guess, he wants his horse. Well, that's going to be a bit of a problem. You see, I don't really outright own Frost. That is correct. You see, Frost belongs to the Blackbriar estate. Technically, everything in the estate is owned by my mother, Maven. My plan was to take the horse from our lodge and deliver it to Latrush at the stables. Obviously, that didn't exactly work out as I'd planned. Still, I don't want to cross Latrush. Tell you what, steal the horse and deliver it, and you can have the second half of the payment. Sure, take advantage of the guy in jail. Okay, fine, I can make the deal sweeter. I obviously don't have anything here, but there's a hidden stash in the lodge, and I did manage to hold on to the key. Take it. Heard they're reforming the Dawn Guard. Vampire hunters or something in the old fort near Ripton. Might be something. Imperials think us all lawless beasts. I'm proof of their ignorance. I can feel you laughing behind my back. Because I did something not a soul in this blood-stained house of war has the backbone to do. Dared to speak my mind. I dared speak of the Empire and the lies that have been spread by Ulfric, the leader of the Stormcloaks. Now my mother's stripped me of my heritage and incarcerated me here like a common criminal, and my brother has all but disowned me. Be wary what you say around here, friend. You'll find not all take kindly to insurrection. Ulfric only cares about one thing. Ulfric. He's ordained himself the future High King of Skyrim and steps on anyone that gets in his way. He's begun a rebellion against those that wish to eradicate the worship of Talos, and uses it as his rallying cry. His cause may be true, but the man is a lie. All he holds in his heart is lust for the throne. I'd better get going. As Yar Leila's housecarl, I would ask that you maintain a respectable distance from her at all times. Did you have some sort of official business here? Welcome to Riften, traveler. I hope the road fared well for you. 
While I feel Ulfric's cause is just, my concern is for the people of the Rift. How can they continue to lead their already meager lives with dark clouds looming overhead? My heart goes out to them. If only our coffers were deeper, I could protect them as they were my own family. With the Stormcloaks at his back, Ulfric's poised to rid Skyrim of the Empire's forces and invalidate our involvement with the White Gold Concordat. Many have died taking up arms for this cause. I fear that the land will be stained with blood for years to come. Aisle. Surely you're aware of the great war between the Imperials and the Elves who called themselves the Aldmeri Dominion? When the smoke cleared, the White Gold Concordat was signed. It was supposedly a treaty aimed at establishing peace within the Empire. One of the terms of the treaty was the outlawing of worship to Talos. To the Stormcloaks, this was viewed as the moment when the Empire became unworthy of the allegiance of any true Nord. We're all eager to see them brought to justice. Maven Blackbriar has assured me that they're being dealt with appropriately. As one of our city's most influential citizens, she's taken it upon herself to oversee their incarceration. Sadly, they're proving elusive, but I have confidence that Maven won't give up until this city has been rid of them all. Yes, I'm afraid we're aware of Sarthus's presence in the warehouse. Unfortunately, we're certain he has informants within the city guard. Every time we've made a move to arrest him, he's escaped. However, if you take care of this discreetly, you might be able to surprise him without warning. Excellent. Here, this is the key to the warehouse. See if you can drop in on this dealer of poison and convince him to close down his operation permanently. A good journey to you. Welcome to Mistvale Keep. I'm Jarl Layla Steward, Anuriel. As steward, I serve as an intermediary between the Jarl and her subjects. I also handle the less important and day-to-day -day policies that affect daily life in Riften. Lately, I've had my hands full suppressing these ridiculous accusations of corruption in the Keep. There are those that believe the Jarl does nothing for this city, that it's corrupt and run by the Blackbriar family. I can assure you that this is entirely false. We are fully in control of everything. I'd hardly call them a guild. More like unorganized rabble. In fact, I wouldn't say they were a threat at all. No, our resources should be spent on preparations for invasion. You're welcome in Riften, as long as you continue to obey our laws. As ya. Did you have some sort of official business here? Ulfric's a bloody hero. I don't think there's a worthy Nord alive who dare argue the point. He's taking the Empire to task and making them answer for their crimes. I don't think I'll be content until Ulfric sits upon the throne of Skyrim with the ashes of the Concordat at his feet. Indeed, there have been multiple attempts on the Jarl's life. We're not certain if it's the Dark Brotherhood or simply Imperial sympathizers. We've also had run-ins with spies attempting to probe our security for weaknesses. I work with the city guard to make certain they fail. At the end of the day, I'm the last line of defense for the Yar. I will not allow her to fall. Liars and bastards, every one of them. I'd have their heads on a pike if it wasn't for the war effort. All I need is a dozen men, and we could march into the Rathwi and burn them out like rodents. Stormcloaks won't have it, though. Too busy keeping the Imperial forces at bay. Everyone knows the Thieves' Guild uses the old sewer system beneath Riften as their hideout. I'd go down there myself, but that would leave Yara Leila unprotected. I'm keeping my eye on you. My cousin's out fighting dragons, and what do I get? Guard duty. 